Now, the entertainment industry is on fire. My God, the entertainment industry is on fire. Now, if you don't understand what is happening on social media, sit back, relax, and wait for the story. You're going to understand what's really trending in the media. This is the Buzz UG. My name is Amela Zmilo, aka Fula. It's a beautiful day right here in Uganda. I don't know where you at. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> Now, before I take you to what is buzzing in the entertainment industry, let me first give you this update. Uh, Major Bilal Katamba, the spokesperson of uh, UPDF in the Operation Shuja in the Democratic Republic of Congo, has revealed that yesterday there was a serious exchange of fire between the government forces and ADF rebels in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He said in the process, uh, two guns were recovered and uh, seven abducted people were rescued. Amanyanze Major Bilal Katamba, umogezo wa maji ga Uganda, agali mchikwe kwe tuwe chiti wa suja, tucha agenda maso na ufuna obu wanguzi kuba tujuba ADF, unakule gulo, um, umualika vale, chingia chafeche machindie, chia kuba ganyi na, na haba tujuba nu, elani tuchipa jamu emundu indala bidi. Ate chisingo bulu unji, tuwasobudu ufuna okunula haba antu, Musamvu, ababa deba wa ambibwa, ababa tujuwa nunga ababa teka mungkambi mu zaawe. Tu wabana nude, esawa zino, bali mchitundwe chichivera sector 3. Uh, ama jiega fina kafaldes jiegali, era bafuna obu janjabi ya batari mumbela nungi, ere bangaruna, bajituli nda tu ingeje tuwa jiamu, uh, mubitundu bino, tubatwe kewe baso ulo kufuna o kubuda wadibwa. He added that uh, two ADF rebels surrendered. Tetuwa kumia au tuwa afunji na hawa sirikala hawa wanyi bavidi hawa ADF bavidi Bewa wade mikono jafe Elaba alipoti nze ekasi indi kuchitewe cha ku batalian yoku satu Eafe ya UPDF wedi third batalian kwa headquarters zayo Baba ntuba noba na Uganda Baba mbitu nubia isani Uganda Well there you go that is a major Bilal Katamba speaking Away from that to the entertainment industry. Now, Lydia Jasmine, in a recent interview, said her relationship with her fellow musician uh, Rema Namakula is good and that she has no bad feelings toward her. A few years ago, reports indicated that they clashed over Eddie Kenzo, who was by then dating Rema Namakula. They even accused her of being behind the separation of Eddie Kenzo and his baby mama Rema Namakula. Now, Rema has never commented about Lydia Jasmine. She simply says, she has nothing against her and uh, doesn't say anything about the alleged relationship with Eddie Kenzo. But uh, Lydia Jasmine said everything is okay. She has no problem with uh, Rema Namakula. <music> Away from that, veteran singer King Michael in a recent interview on Galaxy TV said no amount of money can ever make him rejoin President Museveni's party in a REM. He said he regrets ever joining NRM and this is because there was a lot of damage on his side. It should be remembered that King Michael was one of the artists who headlined the NRM campaigns in the previous general elections. But he says right now, even if you give him how much money, he can never make a mistake of rejoining the NRM. Well, away from that, it seems Lillian Bawazi and Fia Mutoni are working on something in studio together. MC Cass, who is so close to both of them, posted, All day, every day, love for music got us eight hours creating. We really can't wait for their beautiful voices on one song coming up very soon. Now, away from that, model Doreen Kabarebe has given birth to a bouncing baby girl. Uh, this information has been revealed by Mr. Frost uh, through her social media platforms. Then the moment we go to hospital, I was very young and very young, I asked for the epidural. Doctor Adana Jinkuba Mogongo. At Nanyamba Kobisa, maybe the Kira or Kunuma, I will never come with us. Nende Kuman and Atambuaka. Never you come and take a med, never take a med, the Gare, the pressure. Nay, pressure you a rumor, fine epidural, ever did your pain. Nanga, your pressure you. A very big congratulations to you, Doreen Kabarebe. Now, statements like the rise and fall of alien skin, 
Firebase vs Falcon Forest, Falcon Forest vs National Unity Platform, Alien Skin vs Bobby Wine. These are the kind of statements flying on social media right now. But what is going on? What is the problem? <laughs> social media is buzzing so big time, my friend. To an extent that His Excellency Bobby Wine posted something that very many people think is related to what is going on on social media. Bobby Wine posted that, I don't want you to think like me. I just want you to think. Yes, <laughs> Now, these are the reasons why Alien Skin has been attacked so big time. Uh, first of all, some people in the NUP camp are suspecting that Alien Skin was given a mission by President Museveni's government to weaken His Excellency Bobby Wine. Yes, some people in the NUP camp are suspecting that Alien Skin was given a mission by President Museveni's government to weaken His Excellency Bobby Wine. Well, other reports have indicated that on his arrival from performing in London a month ago, Alien Skin was transported from the airport in Horrible Frank to Mwebaz's vehicle, the Minister of Agriculture. Well, point number three, Alien Skin is said to be collaborating with Ham Chigundu to strategize on how to weaken His Excellency Bobby Wine, the president of NUP. And so a big section of Bobby Wine supporters have warned Alien Skin not to make a mistake of thinking he can weaken Bobby Wine and put him down because, you know, the guy is fighting for the oppressed Ugandans. And uh, some people from the Falcon Forest, that is uh, Alien Skin's camp, are questioning that, okay, when did Alien Skin tell you guys that he's an NUP member? When did he tell you that he's part of NUP? Meaning, he has a right to associate with everyone, regardless of the political parties they belong to. Now, last evening, Ango Palasso spiced up things and posted his picture with Bobby Wine and captioned, My brother may not always be by my side, but always in my heart. Ha! Huh. Social media is uh, right now buzzing so big time. It is buzzing so big time. In just 43 minutes, Ango Palaso's post had 5.1k likes, 1.4k comments, and 32 shares. People now love Palaso so big time. Actually, they want him to reorganize Love Fest Corset, either at Lugogo Cricket Oval or we go to Nambole Stadium. Yeah, so basically, that is the biggest story making headlines on uh, social media right now. Alien Skin hasn't said anything, but of course, we are watching very closely and I'll be keeping you posted right here on The Buzz EUG. My name is Melas Milo, aka Fula. I hope I have tried to keep you posted on what is happening right there. But in case you have anything on your mind, the comment section is very open for you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. It is a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.